Hello everyone and welcome to Maytech. Today we're going to look at some basic bits for your CNC machine. Now this video is going to be the first in a series of videos on bits for your CNC machine. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and hit that notification bell to make sure you keep updated on all my latest videos that are coming out. The bits we'll be looking at today are called end mills. They're also known as spiral bits. They'll probably be the first bits you'll use on your machine. We're going to be looking at four types of quarter inch end mills. We'll be looking at an upcut bit, a downcut bit, a compression bit, a ball bit, and we'll also be looking at a 1 8 and 1 16 upcut bit for size comparison. I'll be doing all my cuts today on some scrap construction grade plywood I had kicking around. I'm using this plywood because I found it particularly prone to tear out. Now the first bit we're going to look at is called an upcut bit. Upcut bits are typically the most common bit out there and as you can probably guess they're called upcut bits because they cut in an upward spiral. Because of this upward cutting direction the tear out from this bit happens at the top of your cut while leaving the bottom of your cut clean. Because of this you want to make sure the good side of your project is facing downwards. This tear out that happens on top also makes these upcut bits not the best choice for cutting pockets in your wood. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at how this bit cuts. As you could see in the cutting process, there was a significant amount of tear out happening on the top of the cut. This tear out gets particularly bad when it's going across the grain and isn't as bad when you're going with the grain. On the other hand, if we look at the bottom of the cut that I had go through the workpiece, you can see it produced a nice clean edge. The next bit we're going to look at is called a downcut bit, and a downcut bit is basically the opposite of the upcut bit. This bit will produce a clean cut on top of your wood while producing some tear out at the bottom of your cut. This bit's a great choice if you want to have nice clean pockets in your project or if the good side of your project is facing upwards. All right, let's go do some sample cuts with this down cut bit. As you are hopefully able to see in the cutting process, the top surface of the cuts were relatively clean compared to the upcut bit. In the slow-mo you should have also seen that the wood chips were ejected much more in a downward direction compared to the upcut bit, which could cause some issues with your cuts clogging up if you're not careful. And as you can see here at the bottom of the cut, there is some minor tear out. The next bit we're going to look at here is called a compression bit. And a compression bit is a combination of an upcut and downcut bit. The compression bit starts with an up spiral and then transitions to a down spiral. On this particular bit, the first one quarter of the bit is up spiral and the rest of it is down spiral. In theory, this allows you to have the best of both worlds so you get a clean cut on the top and bottom of your workpiece without any tear out. In order for this to work correctly, you do have to make sure your first pass goes deep enough to engage the downcut part of the bit. In this particular case, my first pass does have to be a quarter inch or more. Now let's have a quick look at this combination bit in action.
in order to show you how this bit works, I set it up so the first horizontal line and the lettering were cut with a starting depth of about an eighth of an inch. This is to show you that if you don't set up your initial depth deep enough, this bit will still cause tear out. The second and third horizontal lines were set up to start cutting at a depth of a quarter of an inch. On these cuts, you can see the bit worked as desired with little to no tear out on the top. Flipping over to the back side, you can see the bit worked as designed here, leaving a nice clean cut without tear out. Obviously, these bits are something that you're going to want to use when you want clean edges on both sides of your work surface. The last quarter inch bit we're going to look at is a ball upcut bit. This bit is simply an upcut bit with a curved cutting surface as opposed to a flat one. This lets you cut round bowl type of channels into your work surface instead of the square channels that you get from a regular end mill. You would use this particular bit anywhere that you would need or want a curved channel cut, either for functionality or for looks. These ball end bits are also used for when you're cutting 3D shapes with your CNC machine. So you're aware, these bits all do come in different diameters, with the smaller diameters letting you have more detail and thinner cuts. Here we'll be testing a 1 8 and 1 16 up cut end mill, so you can get a size comparison relative to the one quarter end mills we've already used. So as you can see, these end mills give you the ability to have much thinner cuts. This is of course beneficial when you're working on smaller projects that are just too small to use one quarter inch cuts. Now because these bits are smaller, you do have to reduce the feeds and speeds and cutting depth so that you do not break the bits. Because of this, and because the fact that these bits simply don't take off as much material per pass compared to the one quarter inch bit, it can cause the cut time for your projects to increase, sometimes significantly. So that's it for basic end mills. We'll have more videos in this series coming up soon, so please make sure you do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Hopefully we will see you guys all again next time. Until then, have a good one.